Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel and before we start this exercise, please subscribe on the channel and like this video. Now, let's go for our problem. Determine the components of the reaction acting at the smooth journal bearings A, B and C. So, for our reactions, we have AX and AZ. For B, we have BX and BZ. And for C, we have CY and CZ. Now, I'm going to find the components of my force F. So, I'm going to have uh, FZ and an F Y. So my force F in vectorial form is 450 cosine of 45 degrees in J direction, that's Y, minus 450 cosine, sorry, sine of 45 degrees in k direction. So my force F is equal 318.2 J minus 318.2 in k. And my moment M is equal to M is equal to minus 300 newtons meter in j direction so here is our all our reactions now we can see that we have just two forces in y axis that's my force f in j and my cy so we're gonna start finding my cy so the sum of forces in y is equal to zero CY plus 318.2 is equal to zero. So my CY is equal to minus 318 newtons in three sig figures. Now we're going to find the distance between our points starting at point A because they're going to use this to find our moments. So I have the distance from AB in the vector form is equal to 0i plus 0.8j plus 0k. So we have the distance of AB is equal to 0.8j. Now, the force A to the point F, I have 0i plus 1.2j plus 0.4k. So my distance AF is equal to 1.2j plus 0.4k. Now, my distance from A to C is equal to minus 0.6i plus 1.2j plus 0.4k. Now we're going to draw our moments because I know moment is equal to the cross product of distance by the force. Here you start with force B. So we're going to build our matrix A, J, and K to solve for our determinant. So here I have 0, 0 0.8, and 0, and here I have BX, 0, and BC. So here I have I. J, 0, 
0 0.8 bx and 0. So to solve this, I have bz times 0 0.8 in i direction, 0 and 0. And here I have minus 0 0.8 bx in my k direction. Now I'm going to do for my force F. So here I'm going to be my I, K, and K. Here is our 0, 1.2 and 0 0.4. And my force is 0. 318.2 and minus 318.2 here and then we do i j 0 1.2 0 and 318.2 this side was too big so let's make it better now using the same process i have one 0.2 times minus 318.2 in i direction minus 0 0.4 times 318.2 also in i direction so here i have minus 509.12 in i direction now we're going to do our force C. So I have I, J, and K. Here I have minus 0 0.6, 1.2, and 0 0.4. And here I have 0, CY, and CZ. Here I have I and J minus 0 0.6 and 1.2 0 and c y so we have our values here we have 1.2 c c minus 0 0.6 sorry minus 0 0.4 c y in i direction we have 0 0.6 cc in j direction and we have minus 0 0.6 cy in k direction now we're gonna do the sum of moments in the directions you start with x is equal to 0 so we have in x 0 0.8 bz minus 509.12 coming from the moments at point F plus 1.2 C in C direction minus 0 0.4 in C Y direction is equal to 0. Now we have sum of moments in Y direction is equal to 0. We have 0 0.6 cc minus our 300 newtons per meter is equal to zero and here we have the sum of moments in c is equal to zero we have minus 0 0.8 bx minus 0 0.6 cy is equal to zero so from the sum of moments in y direction, I can find my c z is equal to 300 over 0 0.6. So my c z is equal 500 newtons. So we discover our second force. Now, I already know my c y. So here I have 0 0.8 bx is equal to 0 0.6 times minus 300 
18.2 so our bx is equal to 238.7 our bx in three sig figures is equal to 239 newtons so here we have one more now we're going to plug the values in the sum of moments of x we have 0 0.8 b z minus 509.12 plus 1.2 times 500 minus 0 0.4 times minus 318.2 is equal to 0. So we have 0 0.8 B Z is equal to 509.12 minus 600 minus 127.28 so for our b c is equal to minus 273 newtons so we discover our b c now to find the reactions in a we're gonna do sum of forces in x is equal to zero so a x plus bx is equal to zero ax is equal to minus 239 newtons now sum of forces in z direction is equal to zero we have ac plus bz plus cz plus fz is equal to zero we have AC minus 273 plus 500 minus 318.2. So our AC is equal to 90.9 newtons. So we found all our reactions. Thanks for watching until the end. And don't forget to subscribe on the channel and like the video. Thank you.